Good day, brethren. The good Captain here from Captain's Custom Works. And I'm back today with another episode of my series on handmade instruments. Partially because I haven't done one in a long time, and also because I have been getting requests from folks who would like to see more of the instruments that, uh, that I've been making. Now, this one is probably one of the most direct instruments that I have made without really any tweaks of my own, and this is owed pretty much exclusively to one of my favorite ethnomusicologists. I've mentioned his work before. I've learned a huge amount by following his work over the years, and I've had the pleasure to correspond with him a very slight amount because I hate to be pesty, <laughs> but Mr. Dennis Hevlina is responsible for this instrument being what it is. He is the man who coined the term Hank Drum, which a lot of folks refer to this as portmanteau of Hank and uh, Hung Drum, which is a similar-ish sounding instrument. But this is really um, not like the Hung Drum. This is a steel tongue drum. Sounds similar, but works a little differently. There's a lot of different tongue drums that have been created throughout the ages by a lot of different peoples all over the place. But again, Mr. Dennis Hevlena, awesome, awesome guy who does a lot of great work with instruments, and he is the guy who said, I will make me one out of a 20 pound propane tank. And he did, and this is based purely on his work and like I said, really no, no tweaks at all. Um, it is based on his dimensions and everything. Uh, he provides a lot of great info if you, uh, if you look him up at his website. He's also got some videos here on YouTube of him playing some of his instruments as well, which is very cool. And uh, I, I did add a little bit of art. I had to put some of my own art on there, which probably doesn't show at this distance. I don't want to do a lot of editing to this video, so too bad, you'll have to see it up close some other time. You may have already seen this particular drum, however, if you've seen my Sinking into the Abyss um, musical film project. Uh, I played that in, uh, or I played this rather in that video. I also, the, uh, the cushion like foot for it, I did a slightly different way, but really not uh, not a big deal it needs to be insulated a little bit from the ground or it can be played in the lap it's a heavy heavy drum though I mean like I said made from a made from a 20 pound tank a propane tank and uh, but it gives it an awesome awesome tone now, a lot of folks play this with the hands which is similar to the uh, to the hung drum and you can play with fingertips or thumbs I think the thumb is kind of convenient but my favorite way to play is with rubber mallets because the purity of tone is just absolutely excellent. I hope this translates well uh, on the film, I don't know. This one is in uh, D minor pentatonic and uh, it's got a scale that sounds something like this. thing that I should have learned better but didn't. This is actually the first tank drum that I ever made, which is why it's still mine and I'll never get rid of it. I've made many more since then, but this was the first experiment with it. And uh, trial by fire right there. I did learn, <laughs> like I said right in the literature that I was reading off, uh, if you tune a tongue too low, if you tune it down by accident, it takes a lot of material removal to make up for that accident. But I really like the salvage tank, so I did not want to scrap it, and I did uh, tune it back to the right place. So let's play a little more, shall we? I mean, come on, that's what this is about.
beautiful sounding instrument and you know I don't mind the look any myself either not real convenient to uh to carry to a festival with you but uh I'll tell you if you do man does it impress in the campground that's just a little bit about one more of the instruments that I've made and hopefully you guys are enjoying this and I'd love to continue bringing them to you we'll see how that goes so let me know what you think please 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 check out Dennis Hevlina's work uh, either on his website which is dennishevlina.com or look up on the YouTube right here I mean you're here already why not he's got so much awesome stuff and he's an icon in my eyes wonderful guy who's uh, we can all benefit through his knowledge that's the way the world's supposed to work thanks again for joining me and we'll see you again in the real near future you like it or not?